Today, I am unboxing and installing the Rymetrix Orbitals with the silver finish option. First, let's open the box and look at these aero covers. There is a bubble pack bag that holds the four locking center caps. The center caps have the same design as the black version, except they are glossy silver in color. Next, we have a sheet of protective bubble wrap. In the lower corner, there is a white box. Look here, they now include foam strips for the inside outer rim of the cover. They also include instructions on how to install them. And I'll show how that works in a minute. These foam strips are different than the ones that I used in my damage fix video. Those were compressible foam insulation that went down to 1 16th of an inch. These appear to be thinner and not compressible. Under the bubble wrap, we have our first wheel cover, and it's inside a plastic bag. Here I'll give some close-up views of the orbital cover. The finish appears to be a metallic silver paint with a glossy clear coat. As with the original version, there are five fake nut covers. The deep well around these rounded surfaces make it a bit hard to clean. You really have to get a soap-filled sponge or microfiber cloth deep in the crevice. And here's a view underneath. There are 20 little bumps on the outer rim that need to be covered with foam so they don't damage the paint of the alloy wheel. Comparing the silver version to the black version I received in March, they are identical in construction. The plastic attachment points are the same. To me, it appears that the silver is just a black version that is painted with a metallic silver and has a clear coat on top. It is fairly shiny compared to the satin finish on the black version. There are protective bubble sheets between each of the other three orbital covers in the box. And now for the next step. Unfortunately, these uh, foam protective strips don't come installed from the factory. The purchaser has to install them themselves. There are five strips that are used for each of the covers. The instructions show that you need to start at the inflation valve opening. I found out that you need to space out these strips by about 3 16 of an inch so that the strips fully cover the entire circumference of the cap. Pull the backing plastic off and place the foam adhesive on the cover, just inside the outer lip. I'll install these now and show it fairly close up. It's fairly easy to place these along the outer edge. Once the first one is on, take the next strip and start it about 3 16 of an inch away from the first one. Continue doing this until all five strips are installed. These strips are similar in width to the foam insulation that I used and the thickness is similar to the compressed depth of the foam that I originally used. Like it did in the other video, these strips will cover the 20 nubs that are along the outer edge that will scratch or pit the alloy wheels paint. Now for the locking center caps. I purchased two items to go with this cap to make it look like an OEM product. 
These Tesla logo aluminum stickers are similar to the ones I used on the black orbital covers. However, instead of a shiny black with a silver Tesla logo, these have a brushed aluminum finish with an embossed Tesla logo. Clean the surface of the locking cap so that the sticker will adhere well. Remove the backing plastic off of the sticker and carefully place it over the center of the locking cap. Press down firmly across the entire surface and they fit perfectly on the Rometrix cap. Remove the clear protective plastic. And now you have a brushed silver finish on the center cap with a Tesla logo. At this point, it's totally optional, but you could put a Tesla logo vinyl sticker on top if you wish. I chose matte black for this particular setup, but in the link I provide, you can choose from any number of different colors. The vinyl logo is in between a transfer plastic and a bottom piece of backing paper. Press down with your finger or squeegee. And when attached to the transfer, you can fold the backing paper away so that the vinyl completely sticks to the clear plastic transfer. Now place it over the embossed Tesla logo on the silver aluminum sticker. Make sure it's centered. and then press down firmly so that the black sticker adheres well. You can now carefully peel the transfer plastic away from the vinyl sticker. The instructions recommend using a heat gun or blow dryer to heat up the sticker so that it sticks better to the surface. Now on to installing the Rymetrix Orbital Silver onto the wheel. Remove any aero cover or cap kit if you have it installed on the wheel. I used gloves to keep the cover clean while installing, but that's totally optional. Orient the cover so that the inflation valve opening lines up with the wheel's inflation valve. Then simply press along the middle of the cover's spokes until the cap snaps into place. I press along all of the spokes just to make sure that they are secure. Take the center locking cap and press it into the opening it will take a solid bit of pressure to snap it in all the way. When you hear that loud sound, you know it's in all the way. And here's a close-up of the hubcap now installed on the wheel. As with the original Rymetrix Orbital video, the caps do stick out a little bit along the outer edge since they cover the entire alloy wheel. This is good because it will hide any curb rash that you have on your existing alloy wheels, but it may make these covers themselves subject to curb rash.
I will now show how to remove the Rymetrix orbital covers. I recommend using a plastic pry bar since it will not scratch the surface and will make the job much easier. Push the end under the center cap edge and the cover. Gently push down to wedge it in and that will cause the cover to pop out a bit. You may have to do it in a second spot to have it come out far enough so that you can grab it with your fingers. I find grabbing the cover with a about a four spoke spacing will allow it to come off fairly easily. And here's the back of the cover just to show you the five strips that I installed earlier and what they look like. And now I'm gonna pop it back on so I can show what the car looks like now that it's all complete. And this is the inside of my garage with the LED lights on. I'll check up on these covers after a month or so and see how they hold up. I'm glad Rymetrix is now including these foam strips with the new orbital shipments. I received mine on July 14th, so any received after this point should have them in the box. At this point, I'll pull the car out of the garage so you can see what it all looks like in sunlight. Originally for this video, I was gonna use a new type of insulation, a solid rubber versus foam, to see if it worked better for protection of the wheel's paint. But now that the orbitals come with it, you save a little money by not having to get the foam insulation. To me, I think the silver works well with the chrome accents of the car, especially with the midnight silver metallic. If you have a newer Tesla Model 3 with black trim, I recommend getting the black version that I showed in my original video. I've showed a few people on the black and silver versions of the Rymetrix orbitals, and it seems the majority seem to like the black better. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna end up using on a long-term basis, the silver or black. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And that about wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.